Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode in the series of the tutorials for the row scale system. In this episode, we're going to show you how to expand your layout. Some pointer tips, I've been asked about pointer tips before by several people on making your layout, and the main tip that I have, have emphasized is not to like expect it to be perfect. Just go with your imagination, maybe look off of some prototypes, so that's the real railroad, and see how they've laid their track. But the thing is, I recommend if you have, especially if you have the longer trains, like the six-axle locomotives, uh, don't use these tighter radiuses. Like, don't use any of these. Well, maybe the, the last two here, so these last two radiuses are okay. It's just that the, when you, the tighter you get, the... The less like right, like the more overhang, and the less, the more likely that it's gonna get um, stuck. So I recommend using the medium pack track curves. This is the small track, by the way. I recommend using the medium curves most of the time. Uh, these are okay, but so I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup these actually. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll, we'll keep these. Ungrouping is control U, or you can right-click on the model and ungroup, which it also shows the key bindings. If you're ever wondering what a key binding is, you just can find the function. The key bindings by right-clicking like how you would by clicking the button, you can just see what the, all the key bindings are for you. You can change them, I do believe, in the file and then settings, but you don't. I don't recommend it, just in case you do something you're not supposed to do. Um, we're going to make it so that we can grab each of the sets easily. Okay, so we can grab each of the tri pieces. Um, I'm going to ungroup the switches. The switches, these are, if you're making a yard, most people, especially the more experienced people, will say, please use ladder tracks for your yards, and these are ladder tracks. So don't, so don't go use, it's okay as a starter if you really want to do the easy way. Go ahead and use the parallel switches. I don't really care. It's up to you. And then we're also going to ungroup this, and we're also going to go ahead and ungroup the coal mines. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Un control U. And we're also going to go to the track and hit Control U, and we're also to the trains and Control U. Um, so that we can easily grab each of the trains without doing anything complicated. Alright, so we're going to actually select everything here. For the coal mine set, I should have done this before ungrouping it. And we're going to drag it over here just so we don't run into any, to any of our tracks over there. And for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to delete these two curves. Oh, and by the way, to make track building a lot easier, use the track snap plugin. And you can find it by going into plugins, manage plugins, and then find plugins. Wait for it to load, and then you can type in tra eh, track snap, hit enter, and it's this one with the track picture. This one, so it's got this description and everything. Alright, and you can hit install, and then it will show up here, and you can click on snap. And then you can just click on the end, and there'll just be this little white box up here. You can click on it, and then just click, so it shows the highlight. Click again, and it will copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some little bit of a track building. I recommend not putting a curve, like, right after a switch. So what I like to do is put at least a little straight, maybe like this. And then we're going to go like that. And then we're going to go grab a curve. Hmm, which one should we use? We'll use this. Uh, actually, we're going to use this one, just because we're only using the row scale system. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Then I'm going to take this other end so it goes the opposite direction. Take that, find the location where it's going to highlight the direction I want, and if I hold control, it will move the one I just took this one for. So if you just want to duplicate tracks, you don't hold control. If you want to move tracks, you just hold control. And then, as you can see, when holding, if you hit the help button, you can read the settings, read all the instructions and all that. But what we're going to do, we're going to paste that again. And we're going to take the same curve, just to keep things consistent, and put it over here. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and maybe make a siding so um we're gonna go ahead and use that and then we're gonna go ahead and use the parallel switches because siding because that's okay for um and then we're gonna go ahead and take another long piece and we're gonna make it a good length actually well just because it looks long here doesn't mean it's actually really long so you gotta be careful with it oh for straights it doesn't really matter which end you take it's just the curves because then they would matter um matter of what direction it's going to go so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to take the same um, length of uh, track and then we're going to i'm just building here i'm just building for the fun of it this is how you learn how to do it and then we can go like this and then maybe we can do a whole 180 oh yep see i took the wrong end oh and if you just click off of anything after you duplicate if you click like just left click then uh, it will unselect everything and won't duplicate anything. So you have to go back and click select your the thing you want to copy again. So we're gonna go like that. Um, what should we do? Uh, maybe I can show you with the building. So we're gonna go like this, maybe. No, I don't want that long of a one because I just want to make sure that I get to the curve over there. So we're gonna go ahead and just do another one of these little tiny straights. We're gonna go ahead and just use a ladder track. Which one should we use? Let's go with this one, I guess. E and then we're gonna use the same one again, just so that the switches don't look crazy ugly. And then we're gonna go like that. Oh, ESC. I came over too far. That's not going to work. Hmm. Okay. So we want it to go like that. So it looks like that's not going to work. So it looks like we're going to have to use some straights to line up. This is actually a good thing that I did this so that it actually shows you how to line stuff. At least a one way to line stuff up. What I do is I take a whole bunch of straights from one end that I want to line up. And then what we'll do is drag this over into its about. The rails are about touching. It doesn't really matter since we're using the track snap. And we're going to find a piece of track. Or we can just use a whole bunch of these small ones. Until it breaches. And then we can... Oops. I'm going to delete that one, because I didn't hold the control. Uh, hold control. And it looks like it's lined up, so that means we can uh, delete this straight, and then take a whole bunch of the small ones. Now it's okay to have the tracks overlap, as long as it's not overlapping across a switch or a curve. So if you're going to have overlap, I would make it, I would start it from the switch or the curve. So then we can own, which I don't think this is going to overlap at all. Yeah, this is going to line up perfectly. And then so that means we can delete that. And then we're going to go ahead and just move everything by holding control. Move everything over here. And then we can just copy. You can use longer pieces. Um, let's go see if we can find a piece that actually fits there without too much overlap. Here, we'll try it too. Um, yay, it fits. The ties look off but no one actually notices that as long as you don't do it enough uh no one will actually notice it at least i doubt they'll notice it unless they're actually looking for it um so we could go ahead and do a whole bunch of these straights and we're gonna put a roundhouse the nice thing about these is that they actually have the track handle on them so we could go ahead and take the turntable with the track handle and click like that the same thing with the roundhouse you can go ahead and use the track snap, and you can see all the points where the roundhouse is used. We're just going to make it so that the track, so it looks, yeah, that looks okay to me. And maybe we can have some uh, little side tracks 
Possibly. You can do whatever you want. Uh, okay. Yeah, it kind of looks kind of weird, but maybe some sidetracks for some other engines. Just don't use a turntable in your yard because in the cars, you can't fit your whole train on here. So it's kind of hard to turn your whole train. So don't use this as a switch. You only want this to use as a turnaround or getting to a single engine. Because I know I've seen some people use... Um, a turntable like as they're like right here and their whole yard with cars will be over here and there'll be still cars branching off of the turntable and it's like um how can i get the cars out because you can't so stuff like this is okay where everything it comes out here and as long as you don't put cars on these tracks you're fine uh and technically in this situation you can put cars here because the turntable lines up with the whole track, so you can have the train extend out, as long as the cars don't go in there. Just tip for the turntable. But that's the basics of uh, using the track snap and expanding your layout. Thank you for watching, uh, and be on the lookout for the next tutorial soon.